This is a wonderful little machine. Oh, it sounds like a little race car. I'm doing like 30 miles an hour. I'm having the time of my life. Hello and welcome to Car Throttle. My name is Alex and the awesome car that I'm standing next to is something you guys will recognize if you tuned in to the Hot Wheels Legends Virtual Tour on October 24th. Before we speak to owner James though, let's just enjoy this for a few moments. Right, so welcome everybody to James Williams. This is your motor vehicle, a 1976 Hillman Imp. Tell me about it. I've had it for 13 years. It was my first car. Uh, I got into Imps because my dad used to have a toy car when he was little and it's something I always used to play with. I've always been into older stuff. I have, uh, my dad's had a lot of Saabs and stuff, so I wanted something old and the insurance is a lot lower and stuff. So it's just something cooler really, it was the Amazing. first car. And, and tell me about this car's transformation. It was pretty tatty when I got it. It was, uh, the paint was all shabby and stuff. It had the arches on, the imp arches. It had the bib on, that's a imp bib. They used to race like that. Got a Mark I Escort, uh, Fiesta, sorry, front radiator. The lights are custom, they're out of a Range Rover. What I really love about the front end is that it's just, it's just such a happy looking car. Isn't yeah. it? it just, it just wills oh, you yeah. on to drive it hard. Well, it's called Rosie, so it's full of character. Also, are these louvres, are they standard? Uh, obviously, no, these aren't standard. These are out of a uh, Sierra Cosworth. So these are to let the heat out from the front radiator, because on long journeys, when you put the front radiator on, it used to burn your feet. <laughs> Red with the martini stripes is based on the Brabham Formula One car from the same year. I've always wanted martini stripes, but with red, I didn't sure if it'd work, but then obviously I still in this Formula One car. I just wanted to copy it. So the wheels are basically similar to what the Formula One car had on. I wanted it to look like an era racing car, so that's kind of what I'm into and stuff. A bit a bit Japanese as well. That's why it's got the boot spoiler on. And Excellent, yeah, tell me about the boot spoiler and some of the car's quirks as well, because we've got a rear hatch that opens, which is... Yeah, I mean, that's from standard. That's like it? a, a cool feature. So if you put in your shopping, it's meant to be a shopping car for a woman's town shopping car, so... Okay, it's not so, like a serving hatch for food. Well, no, I've seen people fishing out the back of it. Oh, really? So yeah, that's, that's, that's quite a cool little quirk. My friend Johnny, he... Uh, he said, well, let's try a ducktail. And that's what he came up with, and it just looks fantastic. Amazing. So. Well, interestingly, actually, I don't know if you know that Ethan's got a Z3. Yeah. He's looking for a ducktail spoiler as well. Is this giving you some inspiration, Ethan? I love that one. We'll get the socket set on it. it. Used to have reflectors on and bumpers and stuff, so we all smoothed all that out, got rid of that. It's actually, the hole is for, it's for a turning handle, so it's one of the last cars you can to start with a, yeah. So it's one of the last cars you could actually start with a turning handle. That's amazing. Can we have a quick look at the engine? Yeah, sure. So. IMPS are standard 875cc, this has been bought out, it's quite a common way to do it, to 930cc, so it's got a bit of a racy cam on it. From 35 it's gone up to 65 brake horsepower. I do really like just the little nuances that you've done to this car. Exhaust, that looks awesome. Standard? Uh, no, that's not standard, so it's got a whole fuel injection set up, so that basically, yeah, it came with a manifold that I got it with. What's that one thing when people ask you about it, you're like, I'm most proud of? I just thought the stance of it now. I think the stance with the air ride and stuff just looks spot on for how I wanted it. I yeah. couldn't have imagined it any better. It used to be quite low before. and it, You just hit every pothole and bounce and you're constantly shaking where this is a lot smoother and obviously I can put it down for shows. I can put it up and over speed bumps and stuff. So it's just dead nice. And for those people who might not know what a Hillman Imp is, James, just explain a little bit about the history of it because American people, I don't think they've got a clue. It was a Scottish built car, it was built by shipbuilders, so their quality wasn't as good as car builders, so the Mini came out as it was being developed, so it was rushed, so it basically had a, it was doomed from the start really. Yeah, and you had quite an interesting story about the aluminium engine. It's aluminium, so all the finer bits inside, the shipbuilders would take the time building it and finish it nicely, and then as we were told by them, they just used to chuck it in a box behind them, so it would dent and crack them. You've had this engine fully built and it yeah. runs. Yeah, I had it built a year after I got it. It was leaking, It was the head gasket was on its way. So I had it rebuilt by a, an old Roots apprentice called Ben Bolt. So he made it into a fast road imp for me. So yeah, basically since then it's it's been fine touch wood. It looks great on the outside and now I want to talk about the inside because that is a work of art and also your job. Yeah, well, that's, I work for Auto Trim in Leicester, so a little plug there. Excellent. Yeah, well, well let's, let's go have a look at the interior because it's, it's absolutely awesome. 
Right, James, I'm looking at a lot of leather and suede and just awesome finishes. This is the third interior it's had now because I just get bored, basically. This is actually all marine vinyl. Is it? So you can see on the dash it stretches and cracks and I wanted to just look like a bomber jacket, really. It's also very kind of reminiscent of Singer here with these seats. To be honest, I couldn't afford the leather because it's the actual leather in Singer is actually woven. All these strands are woven. So this is just a vinyl I found. And yeah. when you take photos of it and look inside, it does the job. Gear knob as well, that's proper class. The gear knob's amazing, yeah. That's uh, He's actually called Built by Basil on Instagram. So he makes that from skateboard, veneers and stuff. So I asked him if he could do the martini stripes. Yeah. In it, and it, I, as you can see, it's turned out amazing. I so. might, I might have to give him a shout because this is this is lovely. I think, I think Phil needs one of these. I might have to as well. You might have to for your Z3 as well. And looking back as well, the roll cage. You've only gone and wrapped that in leather as well, haven't you? Oh yeah, I, I, I can't leave anything alone to be honest. So, <laughs> it took me about six hours to hand stitch. I mean, the attention to detail is amazing. Even your helmet, you've also, yeah, given a proper going over, which just looks. I mean, it's, it's, a 10 it's pound, so good. It was a ten-pound helmet from an Auto Jumble. So really? I thought, Let's give it a go. I thought there's seventy-six in the back. It's incredible. Look at that. It's all these kind of little nuances and details that made me want this car to be, you know, my top pick for the Hot Wheels Virtual Legends Tour. Yeah, I mean, I like it when people look in, constantly notice different things about it. One thing I will say, sitting here, the steering wheel should be there. But it's not, it's, it's proper to my left, as are the pedals. So you are kind of sitting like that. Is that the fault of the seats or the fault of the design of the car? I think that's, that's a common thing with the design of the car. Is it a case that people in Scotland have shorter left legs? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll go with that. Um, anyway, speaking of driving the Hillman Inn, can I have a go? Yeah, sure, yeah. Awesome. Well, uh, let's start it up and then go for a little drive. See what this is all about. <laughs> I'm nervous and excited and everything. God, it rides amazingly. I'm going over really horrible ground, but this is incredible. Right, now massive, massive thank you to James for letting me drive this car. This is many hours, many weeks, many months, many years of project building, of love, sweat and tears. And here I am, little old me, driving it. Right now, first things first, that air suspension is absolutely amazing. This glides over a road like this. And remember, we've got little 13 inch steel wheels with stretched rubber, admittedly, and it feels amazing. It feels so good. Where are we? Where are we? Is that first? There we go, we got it, we got it, we have lift off. The steering is super heavy, obviously unassisted. Oh, it sounds great, doesn't it? Brakes unassisted, everything unassisted. It's really slow, but it makes an awesome noise when it comes on cam. The steering wheel is way too far to the left, as are the pedals. I don't imagine it's going to be the most comfortable car to drive on a long journey, but for going to shows and everything, this is bang on the money. This is great fun. You can see my arms are properly stretched out as well. This is a wonderful little machine. Oh, it sounds like a little race car. I'm doing like 30 miles an hour. I'm having the time of my life. You need to stretch forward to change gear. Arms outstretched, little windscreen wipers working over time. And it just goes to prove you don't need to go fast to have fun. It's classic, it's cool, it's charming, it's funky, it's fun. It's different, you'll never see one of these. What a raucous little machine. Yes, boys, that's what I love about the tuning scene. People like James aren't afraid to do stuff differently. And this, it just screams unique, charm, character. Just the fit and finish is just, it's just so amazing. Fair play, James. And for everyone else who builds their cars and who wants to be different, be different. Don't try and follow trends. Do your own thing. Anyway, what an awesome day. Thank you again, James. Yeah. 
I hope you guys have enjoyed checking out James's incredible Hillman Imp with me. If you have, then make sure you subscribe to the channel by clicking on this link and check out more videos down there. And don't forget to check out the final Hot Wheels live stream this Saturday. The link is in the description below. We'll see you soon. Come here, you.